we're after black dirt. That pretty black sand we see is magnetite. It's a form of iron that's magnetic from gold bars. That magnetite is what gold does is settle. When I work a pan and I get down to the very end, if I don't see black dirt in my pan, I didn't dig in the right spots. When I get down to the end and I see all that black dirt and I start washing, if I'm not seeing gold in my pan, I haven't dug deep enough. Okay? So that black sand will always be your sign. No black sand, dig somewhere else. Black sand, but no gold. You haven't dug deep enough, all right? Watch the water flow, because as it flows, it carries heavy metal downstream. Those heavy metals are good for the complex so they can sink and settle. Because heavy that gold is going to sink as well. So look for the complex so you can see the sand pool. Put spots in there. The deeper you go, the better. Once you got a nice deep hole, that was the first thing we do. Uh-oh. You guys are going to lose your gold today. Why? What's in my skin? Oil. So we use oil to float heavy metals, don't we? We're going to wash the oils off our skin. When we put in that pan, you'll start floating gold immediately. So, get the oils off your skin. Once you've done that, you're going to get that pan. You're going to get to that big giant hole you dug. And you're going to do what? You're going to scoop up some dirt, huh? When I work a pan of dirt, I never go more than half. Everybody always takes a full pan of dirt, full pan of gold. By the time I go through all my steps, there's nothing in that stream. So half of that stream, right? The very first thing we do, we get that pan, we get water, and we shake it flat quick. And that way we can get in there and start breaking up mud. Ooh, I'm digging in dirt, aren't I? I don't want to throw gold, so get the oils off your skin, huh? But whenever you're digging dirt, always do it in water, nothing sticks. Don't want to lose gold. As we break apart that mud, all those chunks, there's big rocks in there, set them aside, start classifying, okay? As you do, take those big rocks, check them before you get rid of them. The black ones you're going to find, that's just that magnetite. Has it been in the streams long enough to get pulverized by that water to turn to a powder? We still find pieces of gold in these bad boys. So check them, all right? Once we've done that, we just made a big old giant mess, didn't we? Notice my pan has riffs on it. Table has riffs, doesn't it? Guys, we're going to be that table. We get that pan, we get water in it, and we start bumping. As we start bumping, we start tilting. Ooh, look at all that magnetite. Don't want to see it because we haven't, do we? So as I hold that pan at that angle and I bump, bye-bye. All that magnetite and possible gold is bumping below the sand. All that sand's bumping to the surface, which would be in that table. The edge of my pan is now the rest of the table, guys. That's where hopefully the heavy will sink. You will do this for a minimum 30 seconds in those streams, okay? Once you've done that, we gotta get rid of that muck, don't we? Work in the hole you dug. If you try and work in the stream, that water will wash that pan clean before you can even blink an eye. You dug a hole in the calm spot, didn't you? Work in that calm spot, because we're gonna take that pan. We're gonna do what? You ready? Can we all see? Look at all that muck float off the surface. All we're doing now is bumping the sand like the giant table getting the bump off the surface. <laughs> when I do this, I start seeing a trace of magnetite. What do we do? Bury it. We don't want to see it till we're done, okay, guys? Mm -hmm. Once we bury it, we do it again. We get back in there and we start bumping. As we bump and we start seeing more pretty magnetite, we bury it. The more I can keep it at the bottom, the better chance I have to find something, okay, guys? This is where patients come in. And then what do we do? We start bumping again. And as we bump, the pebbles are bumping. And now we're seeing more pretty magnetite. Bury it. Then do it again. Get back in that hole and start bumping. Now as I bump, see how I'm turning my pan? What's that doing? It's getting the sand to bump off the surface. And then again, bury. And then do it again, get all that muck to bump. And as all that junk bumped off the surface, pebbles are bumping now. Ooh, more magnetite. Bury it. Then what do we do? Do it again, get back in there and bump. As I bump, and I start seeing all that pretty magnetite. We're done, quit bumping, all right? But there's pebbles left behind. All oh, that bumping we just did. All those pebbles floated off, didn't they? But they didn't want to, huh? Don't keep trying. It tells me they're a slight bit heavier. If I keep bumping, I will bump all my minerals out of that pan. So save yourself some grief. Get some water and do what? Get them out of your dirt. As I do, see how I'm rotating my pan? Now, notice 
throw my Rockstar guys, just follow my can. Those are the ones I checked very carefully. I want to make sure that pretty quartz didn't have gold coin to it, or that beautiful piece of silver quartz didn't have gold. I want to make sure I'm not going to throw away a pretty piece of pirate because we know it's not fool's gold. I want to check everything before we get rid of it. This is where you have a chance to find a pretty piece of gold. Or better yet, in this dreams, going to manifests. This is when we check that rock very carefully because. <gasps> Hold the hand out. We don't throw pieces away, do we? I call those pocket keepers. So as I go to that rock and I look at those pretty pieces. Ooh, nice piece, right? There. Pretty piece of quartz. Or a mm -hmm. piece right there with this speck of gold in it. Cool, huh? So that's when I check my rock very carefully. Alright? Now we just made a big old mess, didn't we? Pocket keepers, put it in your pocket. That's why I call them pocket keepers. Big old mess, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> guys, do a little bit of water in that pan, start bumping, and start tilting the pan, guys. Once you've truly mastered your skills, you can actually start having fun. Think about how heavy that gold is. As that table bumps, gold will bump against gravity. All that sand will bump with gravity. So once you fashion your skill, and this takes a lot of practice to learn, you hold that pan and you bump. Because what's that bump going to do? It's going to start concentrating all my gold, guys. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So once you master your skill, you can actually sit there and do your bumps and get all that gold together along the rift. Then you're just sucking up your gold. Go cool, on. Huh? If you guys want to play for a few minutes, you're more than welcome to. Because it's dumping so hard out there, I'm not about to send you <laughs> to the next stream. That would be nice.